And the worst part is, you can mod any one of us. You can mod you. You can mod me. You could even mod... What? It's obvious. RGH is dead. Hello and welcome back to the Video Game OR, the series where we show you the process in repairing and restoring all things gaming. Today we'll go over how to run Homebrew on any unmodified Xbox 360 using just a flash drive. This is done through the bad update Hypervisor exploit, which has just gotten an upgrade so that you no longer need an exploitable game and can run the exploit from the profile sign-in screen. However, the bad update exploit is non-persistent, meaning that once the console is turned off, the system will no longer be modded and you'll need to run the exploit again. So without any further ado, Let's begin the procedure. In order to set up bad update, you'll need the following. An Xbox 360, obviously. Flash drive, the larger the capacity, the more homebrew and backups you can store on it. And a Windows-based PC, as we'll be using a tool called Bad Builder to set up our bad update files. With all the physical items on hand, let's format our flash drive and check our system firmware. When on the Xbox, insert your flash drive into the console and navigate over to settings. Then go under system. From here, scroll down and select storage. Depending on how your flash drive is formatted, it'll either say USB or unformatted. Regardless, select the device and choose the option to format. This will erase the contents on the flash drive, so be sure to back up any files you may have on it. Once formatted, head back into the system settings and navigate into the console settings section. Then scroll down to the bottom and hover over system info. This will display the current dashboard revision on your console. Bad update only works for dashboard 17599, so this system will need to be updated. It's recommended not to update using Xbox Live, so we'll have to update it using a different method in a little bit. For now, we'll head over to our PC and download the required files in order to set up Bad Update. All links will be in the description. The first piece of software we'll need is Bad Builder. This will automate the installation of Bad Update on our USB. Navigate to the GitHub page and head to the Releases tab. From there, download the appropriate EXE for your system. As I'm on a 64-bit computer, I'll download the amd64.exe. Next, in order for Bad Builder to work, it needs the .NET 8.0 framework. So we'll download the appropriate release at the .NET desktop runtime for our system. In my case, it's again the x64 version. Once downloaded, we'll want to get the files for a bad avatar update. On the GitHub page, expand the Assets tab and download the A Bad Avatar public beta archive. After it's been downloaded, we'll head over to Aurora's website and download the latest release of their custom dashboard. That way, once the exploit has been executed, we'll have a little bit of eye candy while navigating our system. Finally, if your console isn't up to date or you didn't check, We'll download the 17599 system update from Microsoft's website. The link in the description is a direct download to the update file. Once all the files have been downloaded, let's start building our bad update flash drive. First, we're going to want to install the .NET framework. Simply run the installer and follow the on-screen prompts. After the install completes, connect your console formatted flash drive to your computer and take note of the drive letter within File Explorer. Once noted, run the Bad Builder application. Microsoft Defender may try to block you from running it. This app is safe, it just hasn't been signed by Microsoft, ergo the flag. To bypass this, click More Info, then Run Anyway. Within Bad Builder, select the option to build Exploit USB by pressing Enter. Then select the drive letter for your flash drive that we took note of earlier. On the confirmation screen, type Y, then press Enter, where Bad Builder will begin to format the flash drive again. Once formatted, it'll ask which homebrew apps you have already. We don't have any, so leave them unchecked and press enter. Bad Builder will then begin to download and install the homebrew apps onto your flash drive. After it finishes, you'll be asked what program should be launched by Bad Update. Select XE Unshackle and press enter. Next, it'll ask if you want to add homebrew programs. In this case, we don't have any to add, so type N and press enter. Then press any button to exit Bad Builder. Now, when viewing the flash drive, you'll see it's been renamed to Bad Update and now contains the Bad Update files. We're going to want to add the Bad Avatar files to our flash drive. Open the Bad Avatar archive and copy the contents over to the root of your Bad Update flash drive. If you're prompted to replace any files, go ahead and do so. Once copied, we'll move on to installing our custom dashboard. Enter the apps folder on your flash drive, then create a new folder and title it Aurora. Now, open the Aurora archive and copy its contents to the new Aurora folder on your flash drive. After the files have been copied, right-click on the aurora.xex file and select Copy as Path. 
then navigate back to the root of your flash drive and open the launch.ini file. You should be able to open it in any text editing application. Within the config, look for the section titled default. Go ahead and paste next to the equal sign. You should see the directory for that aurora.xex file. We'll need to change the letter at the beginning to USB with a capital U and lowercase s and b, and delete both the quotation marks. In the end, it should look something like this. Then save the file and exit the text editor. Lastly, we'll copy over the dashboard update. Open the archive and then copy the system update folder over to the root of your flash drive. After it's been copied over, you've now successfully created a bad update flash drive and it can be ejected from your computer. Before connecting the bad update flash drive to your console, make sure that you disconnect it from the internet, as running bad update or any homebrew online will result in your system being banned. With your console offline, connect the flash drive. If you aren't on the latest firmware, you'll be prompted to update the system. Go ahead and update it. If you're already up to date, restart your console with the flash drive attached. After the update or reboot, you should see a profile called a bad avatar on the sign-in screen along with a notification. That's good! It means that our flash drive is working. You may be wondering, okay, great, what now? And to answer that, now we wait. No, seriously, the exploit is already running, and within a few minutes or so, you should be loading into custom firmware. Now, there is a chance that this will crash, so to tell if it did or not, just see if you can scroll through the sign-in screen. If you can, then just wait it out. If not, you'll need to restart the console and try again. After a little bit, your screen will fade to black and load into Xeon Shackle, where you can access your system CPU and DVD key. Pressing the X button will make a file with the keys on your flash drive, where pressing the back button will load you into our custom dashboard, Aurora. From here, you can access any additional homebrew or backup stored on your flash drive. As this isn't a modded system, it's recommended not to tamper with the contents of the internal hard drive or any other system level settings as the console could be banned when using it in retail mode. So just keep all your modding stuff on the flash drive, and only the flash drive, and you should be A-OK. -okay. Congratulations, as you have now successfully set up a bad update slash a bad avatar on your Xbox 360. We have more tutorials on the channel for Xbox 360 homebrew and setting up Aurora. I'll have those linked in the description in case you want to check them out. However, that's just about all for this video, but before we wrap up, let's see today's featured comment. This video's comment of the day was brought to you by the Nintendo DS Collector, who said, 8 year old me would love this game. 30 plus, it's going out the window. Thanks for your comment, the Nintendo DS Collector. Say, do you happen to have a rolling total for how many games have been sent out your window? <laughs> now, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like and making that subscribe button glow so that you don't miss any future content. And if you have any lingering questions, be sure to visit the help forums on our official Discord server. Link down below if you're interested in stopping by. With that, I'll see you in the next one.